Hi there. Welcome to City Skylines Beginner Tutorials, Episode 49. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of city services today, and then we're going to make another park, but it's going to be done differently and much more easily. Okay, to start with, we have garbage, which needs to go in because we have a lot of apartment buildings that we put in recently and as you can see they are not being cared for with the incinerator that we have. Same thing in the farming so we're going to go up to this area which is where our zoning is for this piece. If you look at where these apartment complexes are um, the incinerators we want to put in are here. We have two already we just need to put in a couple more. Yeah, these are working pretty hard already. 27 of 27. So we're going to put in one more incinerator. That should hopefully take care of um, the garbage for this area, which is all of this and all of this down here that was having the garbage problem. Okay. However, we still had garbage in here where these big tall apartments were and so we're going to follow this down into this zone and add another one, another incinerator down here for this zone. Just real quick, put us another incinerator down here. Okay, now hopefully that will take care of those. And I have my game on hold while we're doing this because we don't want things to get out of hand before we get them covered. Now, we don't have dead bodies right now. We have enough clinics to cover our different areas. There's a clinic, there's four clinics covering this area and one clinic covering this tiny area and one cl clinic covering just the few people that are here. Even though they're in apartments, I think that'll be enough. Our death care, however, we have enough, I think, to cover these apartments up here, just one, and we have enough to cover with just one, these apartments down here. The apartments have so many more people in them, you have to be really aware of that. And we have one here that will probably be able to handle all of these. If it isn't, we'll put one more in. But for this new area that we created, we have no crematoriums. So because we're going to eventually fill this all in, we should probably set ourselves up with two crematoriums right now that can handle the problem right down here in the middle of this thing. Right down here in the middle, we're going to put two crems, one opposite the other, and that should take care of our buildings. And I should have done, I'm hoping that I can still do it. I plan to eventually change all of these roads to this kind of road because that way the bicyclists have some place to go. And we don't have the trees in here that are not the kind of tree that we probably want everywhere. So I'm going to upgrade just this piece right now, just to make sure. OK, only because um, I want to make certain that part's in there for later. But now that we have that done, and we'll check our water. Water's good, electricity's good, garbage is okay, or it will be once we turn the game on. Okay, I just, I just let it loose, so hopefully that will take care of that problem. And there go our hearses. See, there are dead bodies. They're just not being reported yet because there aren't enough in each building. But the buildings are, you know, off color, which means there are bodies in them right here. Yeah, there's bodies in them. Okay, so that is taken care of. And I want to take you to uh, a fake game, just a copy of this one, where I did uh, a park that I'm going to show you what we're going to do in this game when we come back. 
So saving this game, always save your game. You don't have to save it because you're not going anywhere in your game. You're just watching this one for now. <clears throat> you don't have to go anywhere else on this one. Just stay in your game, but put it on hold. And follow me. I'm going to quit, go to main menu, put you on hold, and come back when we get to the main menu. Okay, we're at the main menu, and I'm just going to take you into the deletable game that I just created a park in to show you what we're going to make. But it's not going to be we have to build it from scratch this time because I already made it all, putting you on hold till this till we get into the game. Okay. Um, we are now in the copy of our game, so don't worry about that you don't have this park in here yet. And I've placed a park and a metro system up here on the plateau. We're on the plateau up here. And that's where we're gonna put it, okay? We're gonna put it up here on the plateau. This is a huge mega park with a flowing fountain that actually works. See if I can get this to come loose now. If you take a look at this, drop down in here and have a look. You'll notice that down in this park we actually have a huge fountain that truly does have flowing water in it. Now this was from Elias who made a roundabout with the fantastic fountain in it. Um, the, now the fantastic fountain comes as a building or a monument, I don't remember which, in our game. But he managed somehow to get it out of the game as a building and put it in a roundabout and, and make it into a ploppable item. I don't know how he did it, but I just thank him so much for that because isn't that beautiful? Okay, and then we have this huge park around it. As you can see, very big park with lots of walkways. Now we're going to make this park, which is next to the college, so it'll have a lot of people in it, and a metro system so that people can get to the park and to the college easily and they'll run through from the metro system through the park to get to the college. So this is what we're going to create. Don't worry about, oh I have to make another park. No you don't. I've made all eight of the parks that go in here and all you have to do is go to workshop and subscribe to them and that's what we're going to do now. So leaving this I guess I should save it. And then going back to the menu, you all know how to get to the menu if you're not there already. Go to the main menu. You just quit from wherever you're at and go to main menu. I'm going to put you on hold while it's doing its thing here till we get to the main menu. Okay, we're at the main menu. We go to workshop. This is going to be real easy. I've already uploaded all of these parks to the workshop, so all you have to do is just subscribe to them and pull them down into your game. Okay, so up here where you search, you want to type in, I'll put it in big letters so you can see it, park-flowing-fountain. That's P-A-R-K-F-L-O-W-I-N-G space fountain, F-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Okay, and then just say search. You're going to get a whole bunch of them. All you need to do is go and grab the second one in, which is the 10R8D. Click on that. And say subscribe. Now, I'm not going to subscribe because I'm the person who put it in here, and that might mess me up. But you just say subscribe to that. Then you go down here 
below it on the left hand column you will see all the names of all the other things that you need to make this so you'll just click on the first name which is a 12 R 1 D fountain and it will take you to that one and you will say subscribe and then you will hit your back bu button up here or your back arrow if it'll let you Oh, I guess it won't. Okay, so once you've subscribed to it, you click the uh, X in the upper right-hand corner. Then you go back and keep track of which ones you've done, and then go to Park Flowing Fountain 12R 3D. These are all different size parks. Some of them have fountains. Some of them are for in between or around the fountains. That one will open up. All you do is say subscribe and after you subscribe you go back up and click the X do that with every one of these parks then come back in and do the acacia tree same way you go to the acacia tree which is one of the trees that's in the parks but in the spaces in between the parks you're going to need that tree to be put in the spaces so again you go and you ascribe you subscribe to the acacia tree and then go back up to the upper right and click on your X to get back to the list and you do same thing with the fern and the fern TBP nature series and the southern live oak all these parks and these four these two trees and these two ferns you need to do what we're going to do once you've got all that done and subscribed then you come up here and click on the X so put me on hold and you can bounce back and forth to or just you know stop the the video so you have this list to look at and then just make certain that you go back into the park flowing fountain and get all of these and when you're all done with those meet me back at you got it shift tab the uh, main menu so go ahead and do your thing now get it all and once you've got it come back in here to the main menu and we'll load our game waiting for everybody I suppose I don't have to okay so I'm going to assume that everybody's back now and we're going to load our game and we're going to go back to our real game, which for me is Beginners 48 ended. And I'm going to turn it into 49. I'm putting you on hold here while we wait for this to get through. Okay, we're back into our regular game now. And we're going to go up onto the plateau. And up here on the plateau, this is where we're going to create our park and right now we have nothing but a big square so we're going to go into our parks and go probably to the end you will find the part of the park that you want and you won't have to go as far as I do because yours won't be this big um, I'm going to use the 8x8 fountain Flowing the 8x8. Eight eight. I'm going to try and get it about in the middle. Right about there. Now it can plop without a road, which is great because it allows you to center it. But you will notice that without a road, it has this little disconnect from a road sign. Also, if it is. Uh, if you don't have the part that you want which would be this little U shape facing down you'll want to right click on it after you get it in there I'm sorry you left click on it say you want to move it relocate and then now that you're relocating you want to turn it to the right just so that it lines up with what was on the left down on the bottom okay and then put it right back where it was but this time 
Oops. Don't do what I just did. Now I don't know where I am. I know I'm not where I should be. Fairly certain. Yeah, I'm going to have to do mine again. Don't follow me on this. See, I went too many times, and now this is over here. It should be down here. So we're going to do it again. Up, up, up. I think that's it. Nope. One more time. One, two, three, four. That has got to be it. There we go. Okay. The idea is to have the, the, the path that's going across, ah, across the top evenly, going across the top, and this path going like so. So this is the bottom that would be touching the road. And the reason you want that is because now you're going to put in the road. And you just want the little tiny road that has the bicycle paths on it. And you're just going to run it as close as you can in front of this. And if that T that was above this fountain disappears as it did with mine, you've gotten the road close enough. If it doesn't, you need to delete the road down here with the bulldozer and then try and put it in again until you get it right. Um, I've got it okay, so I'm going to leave it that way. And now I need to go put in. fake versions of that. Okay, so now we're going to want to make this park big enough that you can have a piece down here and a piece up here. About that far away from the park, from, from this park, you want to have these others far enough away that people would actually have to walk a path to get to them. Now, we're using these, which we will take out, to line up the rest of the roads, which are going to be the third tab over, fourth to your right, so that it is the large six-lane bicycle lane road. And we're going to run those. Now, those don't have to be exact. They can come across like so. This one can actually come through from here. That might be a little crooked, but I'm going to leave it. Okay, and this one can come through right about here. They don't, as I said, they don't have to be exact. Just make them on the outside of those parks, running straight across. Then turning your map running it straight across just at the outside of that park I don't know if I'm crooked or the road is crooked here you want to try and keep it as straight as you can Okay, and above the park up here, straight across, okay, now you can go in and remove the other fountains, because you don't need them. And you're going to go back into the parks now. Well, first we need to complete that road. This one little road has to be finished off. It's, remember, the first tab, fourth over, so it is a bicycle lane, but the smallest one we can get. There. Okay. Now, you're going to put in parks. but not, not with the fountains anymore. 
you're going to go to your other versions of the park, which I have to find. There's an 8. 12 by 8. Is that the biggest one? 12 by 8? Yeah. Okay. Go find your 12 by 8 version of the park, which looks like this, with a little J in it. And you want to put that down here and up here on all of the four center areas just opposite there we go opposite the there so they kind of surround the fountain and then you can try putting another one in here or here that's probably better We'll see if they'll fit on each of these. Yeah, they will. Okay, now you can use all of the other parks. If you're making this uh, in a different way, you can use the other parks. Like there's a skinny one here, Flowing Fountain 4x8. Oops, I didn't get it. Okay. The 4x8, which is 4 wide, will fit here and here. You don't want it to be in the center, but you can put one over here. About two squares off of, there we go. That one was a little bit short, wasn't it? Okay. And then you're going to see how you have all the disconnected paths here. Okay, first off, before you even do the paths, go get your bulldozer, and you will notice that there are a lot of these little dark evergreen trees. You want to go in and, with your bulldozer, get rid of every single one of them because they don't match the type of park that you're making here. Your park has oak trees and um, acacia trees in it. And so you don't want any of these guys that were just part of the terrain before you put your park in to be sitting in here because you're going to put in some trees in this center area that actually match this park. So it will look as though the park is not just around the outside edges. Once you put in your, um, there's another one. I mean, they're going to find them all over like little warts on the ground. Just go looking for them. They won't be in your park area. They may be in between them, though, like right here. And right here. Okay, so you want to take all these little guys out. Delete all the little uh, landscaping warts that you can find. Okay, now all the rest of this is not... There we go. Okay, I think we have it all. Okay, so now you go, you get rid of your bulldozer, and you go to your tools, your landscaping tools, and up to the paths, and grabbing the cement path, because that's what these are. You just grab your paths and start connecting them to each other. Like so. Try not to take out any of your trees and try not to run your path under a tree because it will you'll wind up with the tree in the sidewalk in the path if you do that. So you probably want to avoid doing that. And on this one, there. I mean, you can put your paths in any way you want. 
I'm just putting mine in this way. Okay, we have enough stuff going out of this one. This one will be easier. I'm just going to make a little I mean, it doesn't matter how you make your paths, just make certain that they don't go Now that may have put this tree in the sidewalk. No, it didn't. Hot damn. Okay. Get that rid of that. Okay. So now we're going to continue to put our, our parks together just any way you want to do it. Remember, you cannot run straight from here to here because that's inside. Oh, maybe you can. I guess on some of them you can. Of course, if you do, you're going to take out that little... You're going to have that table sitting right in the middle of your... Can you see that? You've got a table uh, and I think a bench sitting right in the middle of the sidewalk if you do it this way. And that's the only way it'll go. Unless you branch off and you look at where your parks are, you can see how the park comes over this way. If you come over this way, you can come down in and connect without taking out part of your seating area. Little tricks here and there. Now see this one, same thing. It, it wants to go through the, through the benches. And you don't want to take it this way because it's going to go over that tree. So you work it around the tree and connect. There. Little things I learned the hard way. Okay, that one is going to be a hard one to connect to. I think I'm going to just take it down here if I can. Yeah, and just connect it with the road. Then I will connect to this one through here. Now, like I said, any place that there isn't a, a park for you to, to jumble into, you can, like, here's another park. So we might just leave that the way it is. Okay. I think I've got them all connected and we're only at 28 minutes so now we can go down into our park oop wait a minute we didn't do the metro okay so putting everything on hold I'm going to go up here and go get the bus which is the transport and that lets me see where the metro is so I'm going to want to put my metro station right here down here on the bus at the bottom I go to the Metro tab, second from the left, grab the Metro station, first one on the left, and plop it, like so. Then I need to put a tunnel in, and I'm going to make one that goes to here, and then comes back out and goes over to here. Then cl clicking on the third icon to the, to the right, the Metro line tool, all it's going to do is allow me to scoop over this and it'll say drag line to add stop holding the left mouse key down you just pull it forward to the station and let go and now you've got the line coming in this way instead of going across here so that it hits the metro station okay your metro station is all done your park is all finished and I think you know turning it on It'll, it'll take probably two episodes before you'll see a bunch of people piling out of this. As you can see, there's nobody there now. If we go down here and look. Oh, oh, and we need electricity. 
Now, remembering from our last episode where our electricity can be taken from any point that we already have electricity, and instead of using these ugly pillars, we can use the underground pillars. So we're going to take this one right here. I'm going to set a little underground pillar next to the pillar that's already there. Okay, and remembering that wherever you put a pillar, you cannot put a building. So we don't want to put it in this close to the road. We want to bring it over as close as we can this way. And then work it across this way. Close as you can to the road. And then across. And uh, just try and keep your, your, as you're bringing them across, put them inside of the purple area as it extends out. That way you're sure that you've got what you need. Okay, that was a close call. There. Now they're all going to be black, but that's okay. They're still going to take the electricity over. We're working our way towards the metro station. There. And I would put one more here just for safety's sake. Now we should see the electricity disappearing, and we did. So that's all we need for electricity. Um, these parks, they don't use any electricity, as with the metro, it uses electricity. But the parks, th there's nothing in them to use electricity. You'd think this one would use it, but it was set up by Elias, E-L-I-A-S, if you want to look at his new things. This is, this is one of them. He made just this piece that goes in a roundabout. And I just took this piece and revised it to make a park. Um, okay, so now we're down in the park. And it looks like... Well, you would think that there would be people in there by now. Oh, see? Now down in the bottom of this park... I mean, in, in this metro station, now we have a couple people, but they're all getting on the green line again to go somewhere. They're not getting off here. So they're waiting to go somewhere else. But they will start piling out of here. Like, there's somebody going in. I, this just seems to be the time that everybody's leaving class. Yeah, it is. So let's, let's grab somebody who is over here headed in that direction given that I can find anyone I'm finding people but they're all going the wrong way okay here we go here's some people right here that with any luck at all are headed home on a bicycle okay Mary Walker is going to discount sales which is certainly not up on this plateau and she's on a bike so we're going to have to just follow her on the bike and you can see the park over there that we just made oh I shouldn't have done that because we're going to need to grab that well that's okay we'll set it up after we after we leave looks like somebody's going faster than she is someone's in more of a hurry than Mary Walker is this fella ahead of her We're not going to follow her down into the metro. When we, when we get to the metro, we're going to try and grab somebody who's going back the other way and hope that someone will go through the park. Maybe we can find somebody who actually says they're going to the park. Okay, we have to stop here and jump out of Mary. I have to keep it blue, so I'll jump out at the same place. Okay, now there she is on her bike. But as soon as she hops off of it, right there, as soon as she hops off that bike, she'll be somebody else. I mean, she'll, she won't be on the bike anymore. Boy, she's going all the way on the bike, huh? All the way on the bike? Wow. 
Okay. Do people actually go down in their bike now? I can't believe that. I'm following the dog. Oh, I don't have any camera on him, though. Well, shoot. Probably going to lose this lady. She's going down. Yep, we lost her. Okay, so these folks go down on their bikes. And you have to grab somebody who's going down not in a bike. But what we can do is wait for people to come back out and try and grab someone who's going to the park. Maybe we'll look out. And maybe nobody's ready to go to the park yet. It does have to be discovered. It does take a while. Okay, so nobody's going to the park, at least not from the metro. Let's see. I guess we can just take a, a walk through it ourselves. We only have four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get us up here next to the park and jump down in. Okay, and we'll just, we'll just be our own sim going to the park. And we can go ahead and cut right straight through it because we don't need to even stay on the... There's a few people out here. There's Grandpa and his dog. I wonder where he's head. Oh, he's, he's, he's leaving. He's headed for the metro. And this fellow is just standing out here in the rain. Oh, it's raining again. Well, I didn't really want the rain, but... And there's a tourist. So we have a few people in the park already. And there's our fountain. Little girl enjoying the park. So a few people have discovered the park. Not everyone. But see, this, this is a huge park. That we've just created. And people are going to love this place. And we are, when it wants residential, going to put some apartment complexes. Or some small buildings, maybe. We'll put some residential houses around the park. With, with the, um, the larger buildings out here in the back. Okay, and if I was, if I was a, uh, a sim, I'd probably be coming off this path and looking both ways, make sure there's no cars, and cross the street, and walk around the fountain. That is one beautiful fountain. I'm glad they finally got fountains in the game that have running water. I mean, what good is a fountain if it just looks like a statue and the water doesn't move? So I'm really thrilled that we have this. I'm going to walk backwards a little bit here. See, now that's acacia, an acacia tree, the little flat-topped one right in front of us. And then over next to it is an oak tree, a southern oak tree. Those are the trees that you pulled. Oh, and that's what we didn't do yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, getting back out. You know what we didn't do? We didn't fill in the extras. Okay, so now you're going to go to your to your um, tree section. Not parks and plazas, but the tools and then the tree for trees. And as you zoom through here, you won't have as many, but as you zoom through, you're going to discover... i got to get it to keep going here. There we go. Okay, there's the acacia tree. Grab that and just plop it around here everywhere that you think you want a nice umbrella tree to give shade, but that you can look through a little bit. Okay. 
Maybe one here, one here, one here. Just out in these open areas where there isn't anything, you might want to put a couple of the acacia trees. I wouldn't put the oak trees in because they're so heavy and we already have so many of them in the park. And now we can grab the large fern, which is fern number one, and just, just pop a bunch of those out here, just wherever you want. Maybe along the road. Just here and there, just to fill in space. And you can put them wherever you want. Wherever it hits your fancy. And the little fern, which is smaller, can go in bunches here and there. I don't want to overdo it, but, you know, you can't put benches out here, at least not so far, unless maybe I found some kind of a bench as a mod, but I haven't gone looking for one yet. Okay. Just filling in the spot so people have something to see when they're walking across this area. Okay, that's good enough. So now if we drop back down, and we want to uh, save our game too. Don't forget to save your game after we're putting all this work into it. I'm gonna find my tab. Okay, so now when we drop down, we have more to look at. See how it doesn't look all bare now? We've got palm trees and acacia trees and oak trees. Those big palms are really beautiful. They do make a difference. And although we have no flowers in this park, there are flowers on the acacia trees. If you look at them closely, they have little pink flowers on them. Okay. I think I'll just go sit down under the acacia tree with all of its beautiful branches and all of its beautiful leaves. Isn't that intricate? Mr. Maison makes the most beautiful trees, most intricate and, and lifelike that I have seen so far. I just, even the trunks, I love his work. And I, and I love using it in my parks. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode, and I will see you in episode, this was 49, I'll see you in episode 50. Bye.